Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Avernum 6. Last episode, we made our way up into the northern occupied lands. We found out to the west we're not going to find anything. Giants inhabit everywhere around Grindstone, and Fort Monastery is fully under siege. We're not going to be able to get in there. Fort Draco is completely sealed up, but this area here is actually surprisingly empty. Apparently, the creatures down here, well, a lot of slime creatures that are not very friendly to the Sleth. Nice to see that. We also know that there are some humans, including Captain Esme, who worked with the commander at Fort Dranlon, located underneath the Slith Fort up here, so we need to find our way towards there. It'll take a bit of hunting, but we'll find our way to it. All I remember is it's a tunnel. For a moment, you think that you glimpse someone looking at you from the tunnels to the southeast. Maybe Slith, maybe not. Wherever it was, ducked back too quickly for you to get a good look. Ah, this must be it. Maybe. Maybe, anyway. Looks like there used to be some people here. Ah. This must be it. Light. You enter a cavern with a high domed ceiling. Most of it is full of water. Thick growths of fungus grow on the eastern shore. There are several cave wolves, twisted, dangerous creatures wandering on the shore. You step back and draw your blade, ready for action. The creatures don't attack, though. When they smell you, they look up. They stare at you. And then they return to wandering the shore. Interesting. Yes, this must be it. These traps have been temporarily deactivated. Oh, it's down this passage. Is this where they are? Ah, we found them! You have amazingly enough found a camp of Avernite soldiers. There are eight of them hiding in this cramped, dirty, miserable cavern. You doubt that any of them has had a warm bath or a decent meal in weeks. Or months. Living under such stress, shoved together in such a little hole, must be a constant misery. And yet morale is high. They immediately jump to their feet to greet you. Once they confirm you haven't been followed, they bombard you with questions about events in the south and tell you tales of what they've been doing. Their commander, a priestess with the symbol of her face still worn proudly around her neck, approaches you. Quiet down, everyone. I'm surprised your jabbering hasn't drawn all the slips. I am Captain Esme. Come back here and rest and speak, honored visitor. I'm sure we have much to learn from each other. Oh yes, we definitely do. You are surprised to find that one slith is here with the soldiers. He is not part of the army, and he bears the faint traces of paint on his face, markings of the horde. When he sees you staring, he gives you a toothy grin. Not attack. Am not savage. Am Essala. Am from Nass. Proud scout, helping against the vile horde. Why do you have that paint on? Is a disguise. We use it for tricks on enemy. How does it work? I can probably think of a few ways. When we go out hunting, the Sliths see me, and it confuses them. I pretend to be Horde warrior, bringing a prisoner. Others of us pretend to be captured. Enemy comes close, and we strike. Yeah, I can see that. All right, then. As Esala talks to you, he removes a jar of paint from his back and touches up the tribal markings on his face. Enough rest. Soon to go out again. Soon to fight. You're not a soldier? No, I am scout. It's easier sometimes for slips to explore here. The Horde sees me, but they do not attack. They are too arrogant to think we might sneak in. I am from Nass, but was raised here. You aren't worried about Avernites mistaking you for the enemy? Oh, I am. It's hard time for Sliths now. Humans always suspecting us. They even say we can eat blighted mushrooms, but it's not true. We get sick by them just the same. But it's much safer here, for your humans to suspect me. You grew up around here. This once much honored place for Sliths. Some say tunnel through which we first came to Avernum is near here. But I went to Nass, wanted to be near more of my kind. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people, or at least one person, upset that Lost Gavrahas or Ga Gasavara. Basikava, something like that, kind of just got 
well, ruined and nobody ever talked about it again. Anyway, can you tell me more about the Horde? I hope you are not going to say foolish things about how I am Slith, so I follow Horde. Peaceful Slips hate Horde as much as humans, though we do understand better why Horde does what it does. Why do peaceful Slips so fear the Horde? Because they hate us, think we are weak, traitors. The Horde, they might spare some humans and Nephilim who give in and help them. But Slips who joined Avernum? No mercy, only painful death. So tell me, why is the Horde how it is? In early days, before Empire sent all the humans and Nephilim down, this was all Slithland. Hard to remember, but true. Was once there, and it was lost. Taken. By Avernites. Yes. They flee. They find other caves. But they remember the dishonor, the insult. This hurts, I think, more than the loss of the land itself. So war will continue, I think, as long as Horde feels ashamed. Maybe they have heard of Vernum enough now to someday forget. I hope. Alright, thank you. You also appear to have something to say. There is something about this young mage that reminds you of a swordsman. Something grim and determined, the sort of cold, detached demeanor of the professional soldier who kills the enemy personally with his hands. He sits by the wall, hands outstretched. Occasionally, he makes a little flame appear in the middle of his palm. He blows it out. Then he does it again. And again. The others are clearly used to this behavior. He flicks his gaze up to you. So, you're here at last. I'm Encounter Abaddon. <laughs> Slith Freezer. Have some tea. Well, boiled fungus. All we have. Abaddon. I could either connect that to Abaddon, the other series of games... The... Uh, other series of games that I haven't done yet by Spiderweb Software, but at the same time, Abaddon also makes me think of a certain god that showed up in the Guild Wars games, which I am a huge fan of. But that's neither here nor there. You're a battle mage? That is the truth. I'm not one of those soft mad wizards sitting in some tower and writing scrolls and arguing and making sentinels to fight for me. And it was going to be my fate and then the war. You didn't mean to be a warrior. I think I always did. I've always been... I wanted to be part of a brotherhood. Out defending the land. My parents didn't... I don't want to talk about this. I'm just meant to be here. What is the difference between a battle mage and the wizards in the towers? Wizards make the problems. Battle mages solve them. That's one way to go about it. What will you do when the war is done? Find another. Avernum always has something that needs to be hunted. I'm in the army for life. I'd rather die out here than be cooped up in a room with dusty paper for the rest of my life. Fair enough. Abaddon continues to summon the little wisp of flame and dismiss it. He is very quiet and tense, eager to get out of this cramped cave and return to the battle. The way he's doing it, I feel like they're trying to get back the idea of the grizzled old veteran who's just, you know idly passing the time by flicking open a lighter and then closing it and then flicking it open and then closing it and same basic kind of thing. Huh. That would be an interesting thing to see a mage do. Yeah, I can see it. How goes the struggle? The fire in his palm goes out, replaced by a shining blue moat of pure gold. So this aren't hurt much by fire, but they hate cold. I've left twenty-four of them blocks of ice so far, and wounded more on top of that. Feels good. Helps me keep the hate under control. But I'm just killing their warriors, not the generals. It's good hard work, but it's no challenge. I have real hopes for the future. You hate the enemy. I've seen what they've done, and I've seen what they've made us do. Them and the traitors that have joined them. They brought death to our land. I don't fear death, I only fear that I might stop being able to make them pay. What do you wish for? I want to fight as Kaelin, the Horde's head wizard. You know what they call her? The Man-Burner. Because that's what she does. She loves fire. She burns us to death. I want to give her a touch of ice. I'd give anything for it. Okay, take it easy. Don't charge in too... I don't know what the right word would be. 
Can you teach me anything? He lowers his voice. Captain Esme looks away and pretends to not hear what he is saying. There's a traitor to Avernum near here. Name is Kellar. Was Captain Kellar. He gave aid to the Horde in return for his worthless life. He's above us now on a little farm. Him and some other traitors all allowed to live. They have to die for what they did. They need to meet a traitor's death. Esme won't let me deal with them. Says it's not part of our mission. I don't agree. Kill them, and I have some spells for you. Alright, we'll see what we can do. Alright, Captain Esme. Let us speak. When you sit down to speak with Captain Esme, the other soldiers grow quiet and tend to their business. It is very good to see you. Being here to aid any infiltrators is part of our main mission. Things have been very difficult. Only great good fortune has kept us from being discovered and killed. She fingers her holy symbol distractedly. We have no supplies to give, only information, and we will be unable to travel with you. I can restore your strength when you are weak. But I may be getting ahead of myself. Tell me why you are here. I'll explain why you're here and what has been happening. As Esme and the other warriors listen intently, you explain what has been happening. The course of the war, the destruction of the Great Portal, the details of your mission. They are very disturbed by what they have heard. Esme nods sadly. And these are dark times. The Great Portal. That is a deadly blow. As for your mission, the only surprise there is that it took so long for the castle to get infiltrators up here. As I said, we will aid you as much as we can. What have you been doing up here? Giving the enemy a taste of what they've been giving us. The, old, the other soldiers chuckle. Hiding, striking fast, hitting hard, retreating to safety, getting information. We were sent here to prepare the way for any infiltrators that might be sent. We were starting to doubt you would ever arrive, so we were just doing what we could. How have you kept from being found? There aren't many Slytherakai out here. Most of them are around Fort Monastery or on the front with Avernum. It's only that skill and luck that has kept us alive. It has helped that we were able to charm the pack of wolves outside. So let's have not searched down here because they assumed the wolves would kill us if we came down here. I won't fool them forever. Have you had many losses? Everything gets very quiet. My healing powers have been useful. We have only lost... a few. My condolences. How long can you hold out here? As long as the horde's in our lands. The others nod approvingly. Bravado is all well and good, but we live from day to day, eating what we can steal and forage. We trust to luck more than I would like. How have you been striking the enemy? They send a lot of scouts and supply caravans around here, and sometimes the savages get complacent. We've killed, caught, we've killed quite a few, but most of what we have accomplished has been in gathering intelligence. There are other things I wish we could have done if we had the strength. Go on. There are humans in Horde Lands. Some are traitors, I'm not concerned about them. But some are slaves, worked to death. They should be freed. They'll probably die when running, but they will have a better chance than if they stay. One camp is southeast of Fort Draco. The other is southeast of Mello. I would love desperately to free them, but it's too far from my mission. We'll do what we can. I will not suffer slaves to live in slavery. Captain Esme sits with her back to the wall, resting her fingers on her holy symbol and thinking quietly. She looks at you. What else do you need to know? We're here to help you, after all, if we can. I need information. Of course. That is our purpose, after all. I know very little about the West. All we have seen is Fort Monastery, and we were unable to get close. No, we have repeatedly risked our lives to go East. That is what we have learned about. Tell me what you know about the Fort Monastery. It was, when last we saw it under siege. A huge slith force is outside the gates. Some of the Avernite soldiers within are still alive. I have no idea how. We wish there was something we could do for them, but it's too sm far and too well guarded. Don't go there expecting sustenance. Tell me about the east. All right. First you need to cross the river to the east. Then there is Fort Draco. Then the road to Formello. And then getting into Formello itself. It's a hard journey, and we are likely to be the last friendly faces you see. How can I cross the river? Well, there are two bridges over it. One to the north of Fort Draco, and one to the south. If I were you, I would make my way to the north bridge. The south bridge is next to a major encampment of the enemy. The best way to get to that bridge is to leave this camp and circle around the lake to the north. There's a passage that leads out. You can also return to the cavern above and try to find a way through the guarded gate to the north. What is the status of Fort Draco? 
Intact, but entirely sealed. It's now nothing but its big stone lump on the river shore. We've tried to break in there to get supplies, but no luck. We don't know how to get through the magical wards. Happily, neither does the Horde. What's the best route to Formello? Formello is in the middle of a large cavern. As you can imagine, most of the Slith Horde is there. Terrible place. There are two roads there, one north and one south. The road north seems to be generally less guarded than the south. The south road will most likely lead you into the center of their army. How can I get into Formello? I don't know. I was made to it was made to withstand a siege, after all, and the Slith Horde have only built up its defenses. Trying to go into the front door would be suicide. But there is one hope. A slim one. When we came up here, we had four mages with us. Sappers. Sappers. They know how to make stone sentinels and get them to work. They came with us to infiltrate Slith lands and make tunnels. Where did they go? They split up. Two went west to Fort Monastery. Haven't heard anything from them. They're probably dead. Two went east to Formello. They said they were going to try to create a tunnel into the city from the northeast. As far as they could get from the army. What happened to them? They left. Weeks ago. I haven't heard a word about them. Maybe they got there and accomplished something. If nothing else, going to the northeast corner of Formello will keep you away from most of their soldiers. That's all I know. I truly wish it was more. You can't par spare any soldiers or supplies? Remember, I hate to put it this way, but if you fail in your mission, we need to be here to guide those who come after you. Understood. I need healing. Captain Esme closes her eyes, reaches out, and lays her hands upon you. They glow gently, and a strange, sweet smell fills the cavern. Soon you are fully rejuvenated. Esme smiles, but beads of sweat have appeared on her brow. Tiring, but worthwhile. I hope that you feel better. That is all I need. And we will continue to hide here and do what we need to do. I wish you luck. Thank you. All right, so we have slaves southeast of Fort Draco and slaves southeast of Formello. Apparently, down here there is a lot. There is a large force. We'll see if we can take a look at the uh, at the river itself, but we're not going to go much further. We'll also see if what we can explore here. But apparently, there's a gate here we can't get through. Most likely, we're going to have to go north, then around over the river, down past Fort Draco, then to the east. The northeast corner over here is apparently where we need to find. I'm not going to try and go up into the tunnels up here. We're probably going to have to deal with that sometime later. I have a feeling unsealing Fort Draco and breaking the siege of Fort Monastery are going to be two of the problems we're going to have to deal with. We're probably going to have a third, but I don't know when it's going to be. Possibly the Horned Gate? I don't know. For now, though, we still have a little bit of time left. Grab these lanterns. Let's, uh... Let's at least take a look up here, and we'll see what we can do. See if we can deal with that traitor. Nothing in either of those. Oh, wait. Gray mold. Handy. Okay, this passage... This leads into the... That leads into the gate should probably stay away from there for now. And that leads out the north side. Around the gate. Alright, we'll deal with that sometime, some other time. For now, let's explore south of the gate. While we can. Alright. Alright, let's explore a little bit. There's the gate. We'll try and stay away from it for now. Careful, stay away. Don't want to alert them too soon. Let's see. Looks like there's some sort of maze around here. I don't know what's going on over here. Oh, these are those worm tunnels. There's quite a bit over here. I suppose we can kill a few of these worms, but we'll probably save this for another episode. Alright. At the very least, do what you can to kill them all. Yeah, yeah, you're running around. You don't need to, you know. Fine, let him come around to us. 
then we'll kill them. And a fireball on that one. Unless this is actually where that guy's hiding. It'd be interesting if it was. Alright, finish off these worms since you can. Blind burrowers. I wonder if we could actually sneak past them. Yeah, no matter. Uh, no passage there. Not much around here. I mean, there's passages and the like. I couldn't get that one. I suppose that one makes sense. Cold doesn't seem to do much to them. Nice shot. That one's terrified. That one's running around. Quite a few of these things running around. Yeah, yeah, they keep running around in these narrow tunnels. Just so they can get around to the other guys. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I see you over there. Oh, didn't see you behind us. Well, at the very least, we'll clear out the worms in these tunnels. We'll explore the upper level of these tunnels probably in the next episode. There we go. That one's dead. Another look over there. I have a feeling that's... Yep, that's another route up. Some coins, armor elixir. Put that one there. Not really much else around here. I think I saw... Yep, some healing herbs. Alright. Tell you what, while we could explore up here, I'm going to save that for the next episode. Because, yeah, this one's gone on long enough. Next episode, we are going to explore above here, and then see what we can do about clearing out this, uh, past this gatehouse over here. That'll be interesting. Hopefully fun. Until then, I'm Chester44, that is Ortas, Michael, Amar, and Rika. This has been an Avernum 6 Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.